Next up, defensive line, Sean Martin. Questions for Sean? Greg? Sean, so start with, um, you know, we've talked about leadership and you having to, now that you're an older guy, having to accept a little bit more of that, though you're not a ver you know, outwardly verbal guy. So have the coaches talked to you this summer? Do you accept the fact that maybe at times you got to grab a guy by the collar and help out a little bit, or uh, is that just not something you do? Coach Jack tells me I don't need to be the bad guy. Okay. So I'm going to stick to just you know, lead it by example. Um, and just like but today, like if I'm on the sideline and I see something wrong, I'll coach him up. I'll try to give him my, like, my version of it rather than the coaches. Coach's side of it, I'll tell them my side of how they could fix it and how I see it. That's something you would have done a couple of years ago. It seems like you were really quiet back then. At least now you're you're speaking up in those occasions. Is that uh, something you've gained? I was, no, back then I just let, like, Coach AD, our old uh, GA, just, he told us, like, he told us a lot what, what we could fix in our own version because we had a lot of different players. Like, Dante was more of a just uh, – Quick, shifty player. Akeem was a shifty player. I'm more of a power guy, long arm. So uh, he just told us uh, the ways we could get better at our, our own stuff. So what are the ways that you've tried to get better this year? Um, just really my, fixing my pass rush angle. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a power guy. I'm not a speed guy. So I would tell Zach Keith just try to work more power moves than try to run past somebody because he – we're pretty much the same size, same leaf, same as Makai. Uh, tried to tell Elijah to try to work more upfield rather than working at the line, try to hit a move to help him out better. He was like, he understood that, so, yeah. You all have a lot of different players that could fit in a lot of different positions, supported each other really well last year. What has to happen this year to get back to that level? Is it possible with the number of players that you have right now? We actually got a lot more depth than we had last year. Um, we got a lot of people that can play more roles, um, like me, Eddie. Uh, we can either play field or boundary. Eddie can play nose. Uh, Fatoma can play boundary too. Ham can play boundary, maybe field at times. Um, we got like uh, Aubrey. Aubrey can play spear, outside backer. He can still play safety. We got a lot of versatility now, obviously. And does that help some of the younger guys? They can come in, focus on one position a little bit yeah. as they work toward. Yeah, the younger guys have one position set for them. Uh, they could just need to understand that role right now. They don't have the years of experience like me and Eddie do. So, yeah. You just went through a bunch of them a second ago. So, Zach Keith and all of them. Give me your thoughts on, on what that group's like. Uh, I mean, they're still young. They still got time to grow. Uh, they're the future of the D-line, so I'm going to help as much as I can. Uh, try to take more of the weight off of Coach Jack, just see, give him my version of coaching. Are they capable of giving you guys 10, 15 snaps a oh, game? I, I believe so, yes. Mm -hmm. They stepped up a lot in the spring ball. Our whole D-line did a great job, so I believe in them. Sean, Neil talked yesterday about this team looking like a power four contender, just looking bigger. Do you see that? Do you see especially the defense looking bigger than maybe when you first got here a few years ago? Um, I would say that, yeah. We got a lot more t people my size on the D-line. Uh, got a bigger linebacker group. Um, got more safeties, more corners. I mean, I believe that we'll be a great competitor, well, competitor in the Power Four Conference, yeah. Across the board on the defense to get bigger, especially since it seems like the Big 12 is kind of going more towards uh, emphasizing the running game, especially. I mean, a lot of Big 12 teams have people 6'5", 290, uh, I feel like we're competing. I mean, I don't feel like we really need that size because the people we get are willing to compete every play. So. Sean, are you anticipating to take on more double teams this year? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. We got a great team uh, I don't really got to worry about that. If it happens, it happens. But if it doesn't, then that's my chance to make a play, I guess. To that end, have you talked to Dante at all? about, because that kind of happened to him in his last year. He, yeah. he dealt a lot more double teams. I mean, we got great players up front. The Thomas is a great player. Eddie V's a great player. Ham's a great player. I mean, all, I feel like all of us are going to get double teamed at one point. So, I mean, if we don't get double teamed, we got to make the play. That's what Coach Jazz says. You, you think you're 
suited to handle that. Yeah, I think especially. I'm too, yeah. Do you learn anything from watching him deal with it? Uh, I mean, it's frustrating, but I mean, it opens up plays for the players beside me. Sean, what's it been like? Uh, you've come in. You came into college football at a time maybe when it changed more than ever before. I mean, you went to you were here with COVID, right? Mm-hmm. And then you know, getting paid, yeah. new teams in the conference. I mean, what's it been like going through all that? As a, um, it's been certainly been different than you ever imagined. I'm not really worried about the money part of it, honestly. I'd rather just play the game and rather just I mean, I feel like a lot of people leave for money. I'm not really focused on that. Do you just like playing football? Yeah, it's like that. Sean, um, Neil yesterday talked about uh, how much better the nutrition program has gotten. I asked Garrett about it, but I assume it's got to be different for you guys who've got to keep your weight up. Like Garrett talked about putting on muscle and kind of keeping there, but you guys have got to you know, stay up to not, uh, is that? We just really got to maintain our weight. It's hard to, you know, not try to eat junk food. I mean, the big boys love junk food, love sweets, love mac and cheese. I mean, I love mac and cheese, fried chicken. But I feel like I got to stay away from that so I can better, be better for the team and be better for myself. How does the, how does the nutrition program here kind of um, help with that? I mean, they help. We go talk to them uh, when we go eat. Just ask them what we should eat. I mean, a lot of times, like right now in camp, we lose a lot of weight, so we should get a, eat a lot more carbs now because we got to have energy for tomorrow and for later practice. So, so playing everywhere. Along the defensive front, which one fits your physical abilities, your talents the best, or have you kind of worked into it and found, hey, when I'm playing here, I can use this. When I'm playing outside, I can use my speed. Uh, I mean, I feel like inside I can move, be more versatile, uh, working more speed rush, speed speed moves. Outside, I'm more of a power guy. I'm out of speed rush outside because, you know, in the league, a lot of players are running four threes, so that's not my job. Is that a kind of give you maybe a little bit of an edge because tackles are obviously looking for guys trying to run around them in speed, but, hey, if you can get a bull rush on them, you can. Yeah, I know they're waiting for the bull rush, so if, I, if they're waiting for the bull rush, I can either hit them with a ghost move or swipe. Just see what they give me, and then I'll react. How has it been like kind of coming up with Eddie? Because you guys have been here a long time now, and obviously you're from here in state. He's from across the world. Yeah, from the- <laughs> uh, just what, what's it been like kind of being uh, here with him? I like Eddie B. He's a uh, high motor guy. Uh, he brings energy every day. Uh, he's always consistent. He's going to work hard, give everything he got, because, I mean, you want to make it, so. Sean, I know Coach Simon's been to a couple of your games on the sidelines. Yeah. How often do you still keep in touch with him? Uh, I haven't really kept up with him this, this year. Uh, I mean, he's probably busy, but I've been a lot more busy with, you know, school and trying to just keep my weight. Uh, yeah, I don't mean, I'll try to go down there if I can. And, the, you know, whenever our uh, bye week is, I don't know when it is, but hopefully I can make it. Hopefully he can come to a game too, but I don't know how their schedule is, so. Was he for you um, to get to this point? Man. He was a good influence. I mean, you know, I try to help lead when I was in high school, try to be more vocal, even though still that still wasn't my you know, cup of tea. But, I mean, he's a great coach. He's probably one of the best coaches in West Virginia history. He got a lot of state championships, so. Sean, since you discussed in the spring your number change and the meaning behind that, I'm curious if you heard from anyone back in your hometown, just uh, kind of what, what that means to them maybe? I went back and I did like an autograph signing for uh, the Little Tony Foundation back home. And a lot of people showed up and it was very meaningful for my coach. He was very excited to see me. So, I mean, it means a lot to a lot of people back in Bluefield, but it really means a lot to my coach and his wife so, and their family. So. That you're a senior, that uh, it does time flies. Um, I thought the summer was gonna take longer, but it flew past, flew by. Do you think about it all? Garrett said he doesn't. Do you think about, oh, this is my last go round? Uh, no, I haven't. I just day by day just gotta prepare my body, get my body ready for practice the next day. So, no, I haven't thought about it at all. With the new helmet communication system, how is the defense adjusting to that and getting the play calls in that way? That really doesn't affect the D-line or linebackers. Uh, that's more of uh, people in the back end, so they can get the call, so people don't know our signals. Uh, 
we still got to look to the sideline and figure out what the play is, but that doesn't affect the D-line in any way. So, but does that cut down on like player communication pre-snap, uh, or does it help with that at all? It really doesn't affect us. I mean, we don't really – whatever happens in the back end. I mean, if we get like a kill call or something, then we'll have a play to go with, but – that really doesn't affect us. Like, as soon as we get to the line, we know what we're going to get, know the play, so, yeah. Anything else for Sean? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.